Hi, I'm Dylan Rice, one of ULA's launch conductors. Welcome to Space Launch Complex 41, where the Atlas V rocket carrying Boeing's Starliner spacecraft has just been rolled to the pad and is entering final preparations for launch. Riding atop the Atlas V behind me is the second orbital flight test mission, or OFT-2. This Atlas V configuration carries an extra layer of safety with the Emergency Detection System, or EDS. The EDS was developed by ULA engineers to enhance the protection of astronauts by constantly and autonomously monitoring critical launch vehicle systems. If the EDS detects an impending anomaly, it can trigger an abort faster than any human could possibly do so manually. For additional safety, our ASCENT team is monitoring the launch from the Valor Room in Denver. This team provides additional safety and monitors launch vehicle data for anomalies and slow developing situations in flight. The ASCENT team will make real-time calls to the flight director for situational awareness and safety recommendations. During their first orbital flight test mission, the EDS was operating in a passive mode, gathering telemetry throughout the flight but not configured to signal an abort. For the OFT-2 mission, the EDS will be operating in its active mode and capable of declaring an abort to preserve the uncrewed Starliner spacecraft. The EDS transitions to its flight configuration at T-80 seconds and remains active until the scheduled release of Starliner from the Centaur upper stage about 15 minutes after liftoff. This will be the 100th launch from Slick 41 and the 88th flight of the Atlas V, which has demonstrated 100% mission success for our customers. We are excited to launch this mission. Make sure to follow us on social media or ULALaunch.com for countdown updates. Go Atlas, go Centaur, go Starliner.